Welcome, Trish, to Vandegrift. Hey, Principal Little. This is great. So tell me what we've got set up. Our reception area and our new vestibule that was actually built last year um, is kind of a central place for our uh, virtual students to come get items, and we, the teachers will put it there. And our lovely receptionist, Cheryl, helps uh, manage all those things. <laughs> yeah. Corey, welcome. Hey, Corey. Thank you for coming to visit Vandegra. Y'all figured out all the hard stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is Peggy Morissette. Hello. Hello. So with colleges making some of their statements, like with SAT scores not having the same weight or not being used at all, like what are you seeing as far as getting our kiddos into college? Colleges are mentioning um, letting us know what you know who's going to be test optional. Um, we're still encouraging the students to go ahead and test um, because there are different pathways for admission as far as like assured admissions if students have a certain test score or um, and along with their rank, the rank, they have their assured admissions. So we want them to have that opportunity. And then there are colleges that also have opportunities for scholarships with those with those test scores. This area they started to develop before we were all virtual and um, one of our other counselors, Maureen and Charity, have been working with a grant and Kai Lam and mm -hmm. his foundation gave, gave some money. We're trying to make it a little relaxing uh, mindfulness area. So this will be set up with kind of almost like different stations, places where they could sit and even just draw for a couple minutes. It's a very kind of short term um, piece, but then the counselors are being trained so that we can work with them and have, you know, a little bit, maybe a five or ten minute conversation what's going on and kind of work through some of those coping skills, those self-directed skills. While we're transitioning, we're talking about adapting. Yes. So, um, so we're going to have a prom in the courtyard this year. Oh, we are in the yeah. courtyard. How great is so, that? So uh, it'll be outdoors. Okay. And we're adjusting it based on what the students said they wanted to do, what was important to them without actually pretty much just eliminating the standing dance piece, but they're going to be able to do some dancing with who they come with. How many students do we think will, will be I have attending? no idea. Normally okay. we'd have 700. Hey. You guys have been really good about limited exposures, probably one of the strongest programs in preventing from spreading. So what are some other things you guys are doing? Yeah, we, uh, as you can see, everyone has bell covers. Can you show us, guys? Show us your bell covers. They all have bell covers on that help stop any air or particles that come out. It's a weird thing. They have little puppy pads to take care of any of the water that might come out of the condensation of their horns. Uh, and they wear masks at all times. Uh, and there's little holes in them that they can get around, but it does protect us. Can we hear them before we head sure. out? Absolutely. You guys ready? Yeah. OK, 357, here we go, to the end. Thank y'all so much for doing the awesome things y'all do. You're, you're doing great. I cannot wait to see where you're going to go from here and how you're going to change the world, because I know you are. So anyhow, thank y'all for letting us visit you. So this is one of the classrooms we're the most excited about. It's our, our vet tech class. So this is yeah. an exterior door. So when people bring their animals, yeah. that they can come here and um, do like a, a real clinic. So it's, it's about as close to a real vet clinic as, as we can see. He's our, he's our, uh, we need to put yeah. him on the payroll because he's a teaching. Yeah, he's basically hey. unofficial mascot. Yeah. Hey, gorgeous. He's mostly behaved, mostly. Y'all got to use the doorbell, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so really when this place is humming, that's the ideas for faculty and staff or um, hopefully in the future community members can bring their pets through this space so we're not walking through the whole school with our pets. And we've got these spaces for our clients to stay in. So we've got three banks of kennels. But this is the main classroom space, so I'm in here full time, whether we're using all of this stuff or not. And then behind you there are our grooming tables. So we can put animals up here and actually, you know, brush them, blow dry them, trim nails, um, give them haircuts, whatever. Um, or we can use this table space as a way to assess health as well and kind of do like a um, exam. You know, we need to pass a bond. Yeah. It's on paper, right? And in here, now you get to see what, what taxpayer dollars went to, what they right. contributed right. to. Hi, how are you guys? Hi, this is a beautiful space. Well, this is the new robot room. This, yeah. is, uh, this is what we've been waiting forever and it's finally in and we got it set up and we've got kids in here, so it's been pretty amazing. Awesome. How many students can the facility hold? 
Um, right now we have 125, but we wanted to go 150, 175. This is also kind of a place where they can, when we're back to normal, they have other teams come here yeah. that learn from our kids and they, our kids learn from them. So it's a real buzzing place uh, during that time. Sometimes being remote or being at a board meeting, you don't get to see kind of that excitement and the energy that's right here waiting. And I see a campus and a staff and a team that's really worked to try to support students in the community as we've gone through a very unusual school year.